What secret do you know that could destroy someone? Grandma buys pomade cookie dough. A girl I know got gang banged by three of her cousins while all of them were wasted. AWW. What a close knit family. My white co-worker has been cheating on her white husband with a black guy. She tells her husband that she sometimes comes to the office on weekends to get work done. She has been going to the other guy's house. One time her and her husband came by the office to drop off an extra table from their house for an event. I was in the office as I often work weekends. The husband kind of gave me a funny look as she asked what was I doing there because she never sees me here when she comes in on weekends. She is now pregnant. Overheard her talking telling someone that the baby isn't her husband's. She is nervous. I'm the only black guy in the office. I'm nervous. My good friend Joshua told everyone he had a family problem and that's why he had to miss weeks of school. Lol just had an image of some dude snorting head and shoulders shampoo. I didn't think it was a big deal. But I saw my boss pick her nose and wipe it under her chair. I casually asked if she was saving it for later and she was mortified. A project I had been wanting to start was approved the next day. Acquaintance intentionally screwed with his wife's birth control to get her pregnant. Because he figured the kid would keep her busy while he's sleeping around. Turns out he genuinely loves being a dad and said the kid is the best thing that has ever happened to him. His wife was sleeping around when he did it and there's a 50% chance the kid isn't his. They sound like a perfect match. I just feel bad for the kid having two tools like that for parents. Might not destroy anyone. But still seems like a big secret. I know a couple who make comments about having a baby together. Mostly the guy saying stuff about it. He had her tubes tied or whatever years ago. Not a problem. My mom's tubes were tied when I was conceived. Dad has one nut. I was diagnosed with transverse myelitis at age 12 and remain paralyzed all of these 31 years later. What I didn't tell the doctors, or anyone until I was 19, two new friends outside of my hometown, was that I was punched right square in the back on the spine where I'm paralyzed. I suspect it was some sort of bruise or blood clot that gave way. I started mentioning that I had been punched in the back at school to a sister and brother within the last 5 years. I will never give up the name and worse yet were distantly related. But they went on to live a very full life full of love and fame AI and wealth. I'm rotting away. Taking it to my grave. Better that one suffer than two of us. We were kids and I have long forgiven. But people need to be careful with heads and backs. Those precious brains and spinal cords cannot be regenerated. Yet. Anyway. I found my dad's aff. Adult friend finder. Username and password. Maybe your parents are swingers or introvertism? I made an AF account when I was in my early 20s. 99% of the responsive profiles were for verism. I. E. Bang my wife while I watch. And sharing wives husbands. I cancelled my subscription. Friend of mine knocked up a one night stand in college. We were all friends. And she decided not to tell him. Both are happily married with kids with their new spouses. Except one of her kids is my friends, and not her husband's. Abby and her brother. OMG I'm seeing a girl named Abby and she has a brother. What state is this in? My dad knocked out my brother with a wrench when we were younger. My mom still doesn't know. Is your dad Patches O'Hulahan? Or was it? Like. On purpose? Because that'd be messed up. My aunt was 30 and married a guy who was 70. She wanted another baby but he had had a vasectomy years earlier. She ended up banging a 50 year old repair man and getting knocked up. She told her husband it was a miracle and he bought it. A few years later her husband committed suicide and in his obituary it listed his adult kids and said he was the proud father of a miracle baby. I can't believe she would stoop that low. His kids had to have known. She ended up living with the repair man for years but the kid didn't know that was his real dad. Even though they have the same name. Yes. My aunt even named the kid after the repair man. WTF. She thinks I don't know but I do. 
She told my mom and my mom told me. I'm pretty sure my cousin would be destroyed if he found out. He's an adult now so his whole life is a lie. My buddy made out with another buddy's mom at a bonfire while the husband was out of town. This was a year after high school. Lyra doesn't have a seizure disorder. Lyra is a drug addict. Bob is married with three children. His oldest is in college. Bob and his wife have been married for 18 years. Bob is gay. Always has been. He wanted a family. He no longer wants to pretend to be straight but has no idea how to break the news to his family. Edit. This thread is full of supportive people. I understand Bob will break the news. It's a matter of when. He already told his parents a few years ago. I'm not Bob. When I read this as credit. This is the first thing I thought of. If I went out of my way to break this secret it could potentially destroy 5 someones. My friend does gay PRN. He has no idea that we know. Link one of his videos. I will critique. Daniel doesn't have narcolepsy. Daniel is a heroin addict. Reddit makes me not want to trust anyone. My uncle killed his father. He was 95 and in a lot of pain. Doctors let him come home instead of hospice because it was just a matter of time. After a particularly bad night. My uncle, a surgeon, was called. He came over with some painkillers and gave them to my grandfather. Who relaxed and didn't say anything. My uncle then prayed with my grandmother and a few other people for a few minutes. When my uncle was done praying. My grandfather stopped breathing and died peacefully. My family is very religious and believed God took him to heaven at the perfect moment. I am not religious and understand that he was given a lethal dose of painkillers. My uncle likely knew approximately how long it would take. And was watching for the signs to finish the prayer at the right moment. Edit. I agree that it was an act of compassion. My grandfather had been a family practice doctor. So it is likely that he knew what was happening. I have not shared my opinions with anyone, other than the thousands of you. If anyone else in my family suspects anything, they have not said a word. My best friend has a secret daughter from a one night stand. She's over 20 years old now. His family still has no idea. She tried a couple times to contact him but he told her to off. My best friend is a cock. Nathan M sturbated in home economics. Edit. Apparently everyone already knows Nathan M sturbated in class and all Nathans are perverts. Cool. He's in a relationship with a woman. But keeps asking me to meet. I deny him. Hey. Nahum you world. Me and the guys were going to grab some beer at the pub and watch a game. Wanna come with? No. Damn it. I told you before. You're in a relationship. I refuse to be a home wrecker. Hangs up. The? Maybe he just wants to play Super Smash Brothers? My teenage crush took it really badly when I stopped being interested in him. And spent a while trying to sabotage everything I did. Including talking to teachers to try to shut down multiple student organizations I was in. It's been a long time but we're still not each other's number one fans. I'm not going to say anything. But I'm pretty sure his very Christian fiancé who is waiting for marriage to have sx and thinks he is too wouldn't be too thrilled to know about the time when he spent a year hooking up with gay men who he met by posting dick pics on 8chan. I've never shown my mom the note my dad wrote when he attempted suicide. Or the letters he wrote her during his restraining order later. He was successful months after. Obsessed to the point of abuse, she wasn't in love with him. Just stayed with him until we, me and my brother, were old enough to understand why she was leaving him. Comma these notes would crush her. They've crushed me for the last 12 years. Where I'm often on dependent on drugs to get by. It's easier to write this knowing the thread is old and no one will probably read this. My husband had a affair on me with a married older woman I told her husband where and what time and the hotel room number so he could catch them in the act and he went there caught them having sx and blew his brains out in front of the two of them. I never told how he found out where they were at. Divorcing now. Husband and her are happy together. 
he's dead I'm devastated because I thought her husband knowing would make them stop cheating. A friend of mine was so desperate for a baby. After a year of trying with her long term boyfriend she started sleeping around until she got pregnant. The boyfriend doesn't have a clue and she is now playing happy families with him and her 2 year old son. Edit. Just a few things to address. I stopped being friends with her when she started cheating. I'm not the only person that knew about it. I haven't spoken to her or her family in 3 years. The boyfriend isn't on Facebook and I haven't got a phone number for him. I wish I had told him at the beginning. But I had a lot of going on in my own life at the time to deal with. I have been going back and forth on it for a while but don't know what to do for the best. There are definitely better alternatives to conceive other than cheating on your boyfriend. Jesus what a... Our former mayor was... Is... Comma a big wig in the KKK. I was sworn to never tell a soul this by an ex friend of mine because she was afraid the information would get back to her somehow. She was texting when she crossed the intersection and killed the motorcyclist. Friend from college, hereafter dude, had a girlfriend at another school. Dude regularly cheated on his girlfriend with a woman at our college, hereafter woman. Woman's roommate was a good friend of mine. After one of these hookups woman got pregnant. Woman had an abortion. Never told dude. Dude is now married to his then girlfriend. Wife has no idea he regularly cheated on her. Dude has no idea woman got pregnant and had an abortion. Dude is now a lobbyist. Seems to want to have a political career. My bio dad, that I found out about 4 years ago, left me all his estate when he dies. My mom keeps the information in her jockey box and hasn't told me. I borrowed her car and found said documents. Upper management doesn't know how incompetent my boss is. He delivers results only because all people in department is super ethical and work hard. He is a good guy but doesn't know anything about the job or how to be a good leader. But it's changing. We all are looking for jobs anywhere. Last week a mate left and if everything goes good today I will probably leave too. After two more resigns it will be hard to not notice. The person who raised my cousin is not his biological father. An acquaintance of mine, semi-friend overlapping social circles, is a second year university professor and is dating one of his freshman students. He's in his late twenties. Doesn't have tenure yet. And I couldn't care less about the morality of it, she's of age. But the conflict of interest thing is a real risk to his career. The guy who slept with my ex-wife. Guess what buddy? Your youngest daughter isn't yours. My boss is a closet gambling addict. I don't think his soon to be ex-wife knows, not the reason for the divorce. He just told me today he has $8. 000 on the NFL draft. God only knows how much he spends on his gambling and I doubt he knows. One of my friends slept with my girlfriend while I was in training. He doesn't know I ever found out. He also doesn't know I banged his mom the week I got back. He uses our lobby computer to cheat on his wife online. I don't need to destroy him because he is getting fired for sexually harassing our boss. So that works out. Edit. Sounds like an overall decent guy. Co-worker's girlfriend lost the baby because of all the stress she's under thinking he's cheating on her. Is cheating on her and the other girl is pregnant. I found a PRN with one of my sister's friends in it. Link or you're lying. My dad doesn't know that I know he isn't my dad. He knows but he still loves you as a son. This thread makes me really hate humans. I know that an up and comping conservative party politician, one of their brightest prospects, is a vicious racist with a brutal history of online and real world hate. I saved all the messages he wrote complete with timestamps and I've been keeping them safe for nearly 10 years. I could have ruined him when he was younger and stopped him ever having a career in politics. But it'll be a lot more fun to wreck his life once he's built it into something he values and has poured hard work into. Anybody know some launch codes? 
the reason my dad wasn't there right away for my mom when her dad died was because he was with another woman. I interned with a local political body, i.e. city council. Not gonna be specific, for a few years. Became a staffer. Got to know a few of the polls really well. One of them climbed the party ladder very well and is now a congress person. This person is cool as and I think they're a damn good rep for their district. But they have very radical political beliefs that they only really talk about in private. Dot. And they be getting high as mother in Bob Molly. One of my ex-co-workers, a high school teacher, slept with an underage student. It. Reasons I'm not getting married. I don't think anyone I know IRL will see this. Hopefully. My best friend. She killed herself. Self-inflected gunshot after coming down from an extended drug binge. I always held strong to the belief that it was spur of the moment. She wasn't in her right frame of mind type of deal. A year before she killed herself. Though. She had asked me about a gun. If she could borrow one. She told me that she was home alone and some people tried to break in. I forgot about that little fact until a year or two after the fact. If her mom ever found out. I'm sure she would be crushed. It's a tying feeling. My friend received oral pleasures from a transvestite in a grotty Spanish bar. He's married with two kids. He claims he didn't remember it happening but I will never forget the look on his face when I opened the cubicle door in the toilets. He never accused me of making the story up when I mentioned it the next day. We never talk about this now. Received oral pleasure sounds like a line from Borat or something. I know I'm not the biological father of my oldest daughter and I know her father. A former long time friend of mine. Doesn't know he's the dad. I also know. My ex. My daughter's mother. Doesn't know that I know what I've known for the past 13 years. I know this because I caught them in bed. They don't know I caught them. And 9 months later I had a paternity test done. The day she turns 18 I'm sure the ex will try to throw it in my face. She's a spiteful and angry bitch. That I raised another man's child but I'd quickly throw that paternity test for results in her face and tell her I've known all along. She may not be mine by blood but she calls me dad and she's my baby girl no matter what anyone says. This kid I used to talk to is a bizzle furry that has tried suicide a couple times. We're not friends anymore. But I'm taking that to the iron grave out of respect. Oprah drives drunk almost every day. Edit. This is not true. You get run over and you get run over and you get run over. A guy told me his ex was stalking him and harassing him it turned out that they were just still dating and he was a crazy liar trying to get a fling in before he married her. If I ever told her all the things he said to me about her. They'd get a divorce. A friend of mine was deployed and his wife called me because their kid's playstation wasn't working. I go over to help them out. And go to leave. She hugs me. Starts whispering into my ear about how lonely she is. And then kisses my cheek. I noped out of there and have never had the heart to bring up what happened to my friend. Ted Cruz is quite possibly the Zodiac killer. So everyone cheats is what I learned in this thread. You people and everyone you know. You as can't be trusted. My uncle uphead my mom when she was younger. Her own brother. My mom confided this secret in me when I was really young myself. I haven't told a soul. My mom cheated on my dad. It was with my brother's friend. I was about 12 when my brother told me about it. My brother is 4 years older than me. It has been around 25 years since it happened. My dad never found out. There is no way we could tell him now. He has multiple myeloma. It would devastate him. The cheating lasted for around a year as far as I know. I was too young to understand the ramifications at the time. I cannot ever forgive my mom for what she did. I still don't know if she knows that we know and what it did to us. This is one of the first times I have commented on a thread. So I'm sorry if I screwed it up. I'm on my phone. I just wanted to finally say it. I've never told anyone about it before. 
I have a video of my professor eyeing a postgraduate student on his desk for a better grade with her sobbing as she was doing it but I'm using it to blackmail that guy. You. Sir. Are a champion. Pro tip. Own a wine gun. People really don't like blackmailers. My friend puts his online animation portfolio on his YouTube channel. Little does he know that his favorites is public and it's nothing but young Asian teen girls dancing in their undies. Justin didn't lose $500 at the blackjack table in Vegas. He spent it on a prostitute. A person I know of, not my friend, is a PRN actress and escort. She has done pretty awful stuff and it is all online. She think no one knows, especially her ex-in-laws. That is awful. Why? What would compel someone to do that? Can you provide us a link so we know how awful the stuff she does is? A couple friends of mine cook extract purify make whatever DMT on the regular and sell it. Yo I'm gonna need your friend's paypal and phone number. Well. This guy made the mistake of seriously eyeing me off. What he thinks I don't know. Four bankruptcies. Dude can't even get a place in his own name at this point. He goes all out to hide that. Five counts of domestic violence. Culminating in restraining orders. That he has cheated on all four of his previous wives and is already cheating on the soon to be fifth. That the only reason he has a car and can drive as much as he does is his job which pays for gas and maintenance. He has already wrecked two thanks to a phone game he is obsessed with. That he was caught in clear violation of one of the restraining orders. And I have pictures to prove it. That he has repeatedly broken into his most recent ex's house. And continues to stalk her. What I'm already releasing to the relevant people and the general public. I'm all of this. My HS football coach has a mulch fundraiser for the team every year. We raise about $50. 000 annually. I talked with one of the football parents who is in charge of the money. And they said they only received about $10. 000 and when they asked where the rest of the money was. The coach said he was using it on equipment. The only new equipment players got was two t-shirts and training shorts. This explains how he could afford brand new cars for his daughters on a teacher's salary. I have some information surrounding the founding and earlier years of the Mormon church that isn't available to the general public. As a descendant of Joseph Smith these secrets have been passed down through my family and if let loose. Could really destabilize the leadership of said church. Edit. A lot of people are asking me to leak the information for various reasons. So I just want to clarify why I am choosing not to. I am not an active member of the church. And I do not believe in it. However I recognize that for a majority of people involved in it. The church is a very positive influence providing support to its community. I recognize that the leadership has done some questionable things however it is my opinion that causing so much damage to the church would cause more harm than good on the grand scheme of things.